Hey, good morning. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Mitchell Brush. I'm the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chief of the National Guard Bureau. What a momentous day for us today at the 177th Fighter Wing in New Jersey. We're having an opportunity to celebrate one of our airmen who will be awarded the Silver Star. Hello, I'm Brigadier General Mike Kniff, the Adjutant General of the State of New Jersey. And we're here today um, to present the Silver Star, the first one we can remember to a New Jersey Guardsman in recent history, certainly as far back as World War II, uh, to Master Sergeant Michael Sears for his action in Afghanistan in September of 2012. In the National Guard, we talk about three missions that we do every day. And the Guard is even getting better and better over 13 years of war at doing these. We do the warfight mission when called upon by the President, and we provide combat forces to the Air Force and Army. And that's exactly what Master Sergeant Spears and his team was doing uh, when they came across the insurgents. They were defending forward. They were taking the fight to the enemy in a far off land in that federal mission that we do every day. We also do the homeland mission where we support the governor. We support homeland missions such as the F-16s that are sitting right over here right now. Three aircraft, alert crews, ready to go. And the other thing that we do in the Guard is we build partnerships. We build partnerships both with overseas countries. In a few moments we'll read a citation and as I read through it, I thought about Mike and probably you know, his team that day and John and and uh, you know what what is in a person that puts their life at risk when they're in a safe position and then they jump out from behind MRAPs and Hummers and jump into the face of the enemy to save a coalition soldier's life, to save really multiple soldier's life. Michael, for how you have conducted yourself, uh, for your bravery, for your patriotism, for your dedication to excellence, uh, for your service to these United States of America, you epitomize why we are the greatest nation on the face of the earth. That's really why I wanted to be here this morning, not only to talk to the National Guard who stood at the end of my street during Superstorm Sandy and protected my family and my neighborhood, but also to recognize the heroics of the Master Sergeant and to thank the families of each and every one of our citizen soldiers, each and every one of our soldiers, and of Master Sergeant Michael Francis Sears, his family also, for giving, giving so much. This is an amazing honor, honestly. Um, I couldn't be more proud to be a part of the New Jersey Air National Guard. To my EOD brothers and sisters, I'm receiving this award on behalf of all our EOD brothers and sisters that we have lost and for their families. I know we haven't received many silver stars in our career field during this IED war, but this one I honestly can say, this is for our fallen brothers and sisters. We've lost too many. Well, it's obviously a great honor to have Master Sergeant Sears uh, recognized and he kind of represents all the New Jersey National Guardsmen. He's a citizen soldier who does EOD work, explosive ordnance disposal for homeland security during his weekday job and then on, on the weekends and when he's at, uh, doing military duty obviously he is an EOD specialist for the New Jersey National Guard 177th Fighter Wing. Um, he's an American hero. The only reason I have the award and I'm standing here today to talk to you is because of those other people. So they deserve the recognition um, over myself today, I think. Um, the award is enough recognition for myself, but the words, I think uh, a lot of people uh, misconception what the Guard does. Uh, we have a lot of ground troops and a lot of heroes out there on the ground working hard. Um, you know, the EOD teams especially. It's an IED war. Every Guard unit has their EOD teams and they're sending them out. Um, and, and it's just an honor to work with all of them and work with the Air National Guard of New Jersey especially. Being recognized with a Silver Star goes to show you of all the heroic um, De deeds that we're asked to do, that we do gladly, that we do voluntarily, because we're all still part of the greatest volunteer organization ever, and that's the National Guard. It says a lot about who we are as a Guard, that we leave our homes, our families, our employers, and we deploy when the President calls, and then we do the same when the Governor calls. 
And I would tell you that uh, this National Guard, in my 44 years in the military, and most of that in the Guard, uh, is something special the nation should really treasure. Uh, and it's something we really need right now as uh, we're under this fiscal crisis that we are. We need a strong guard that can do the things that Master Sergeant uh, Sears did on the battlefield, but what he does every day for the 177th Fighter Wing.